Welcome back. Hope you're ready for an evening of Vladlix and Swill. As the original slogan says, it comes from paradise and tastes like heaven. Well, this one came from the store and is not sponsored by Malibu. We don't need it because my favorite sponsor, Skillshare, is back. So let's do a little giveaway. It will be this dope custom jigger that I will use today to make our cocktails. And you're probably asking, what do you mean custom? And here is why. Also this spoon, since you will need to stir most of the cocktails from today's episode. Rules are simple, like, subscribe and leave a comment below. I will announce a winner next week in the regular episode, not, not the short one. Okay, since it's the world's best selling coconut flavored Caribbean rum and ready, the 4 million cases sold each year. Well, Malibu can be used in a lot of delicious cocktails. Let's make some of the most popular ones that help you to impress someone special at the tropical style party. I should mention before we start that it's not really a rum. To be considered a rum, the spirit has to be 80 proof. And Malibu is only 42 proof, so technically it's a coconut liqueur made with Caribbean rum. Let's get started with the Malibu and Coke. Use highball or any glass, fill up with ice, add Malibu, fill with Coca-Cola, and optional garnish here is lime. This is probably the most popular and easy Malibu cocktail to make. For me, it's a little bit too sweet, but this is an excellent cocktail for people just beginning to indulge in cocktails. It doesn't have that strong alcohol taste that can seem harsh for newbies. Now, if you're looking for something with fewer calories, a Malibu and soda is not an easy one to mix. You can experiment with different ratios and pour less soda, but I like to make it light and mix it with around 4 ounces. Coconut pairs well with vanilla, chocolate, mint and many tropical fruits including banana, lime, mango, passion fruit, but probably best of all, it goes with pineapple. Make sure to mix it, just be careful with this drink because it's so smooth and after a few of them it might affect you like a pineapple express. With a little bit of cranberry magic you can turn this cocktail into the famous Malibu Bay Breeze. The traditional Bay Breeze is made with vodka, it became super popular in the 1980s since it's really easy to make and even easier to drink. So around that time this vacation in a bottle aka Malibu became popular and thanks to the unknown legend who probably looked at the unique bottle with a picture of the sunset, felt a little breeze and decided to mix a bay breeze with it. And speaking of sunsets, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes from which you can learn all kind of creative and entrepreneurial skills. There is a class for just about everything. And if you want to learn how to take photos of the beautiful sunsets, you can check out a class from a very talented photographer and artist, Chris Burkhardt. Chris is a self-taught photographer who is well known for his surf and outdoor adventure photography. He has a masterclass that teaches you how to take the best photos at sunrise, sunset and night. So if you're interested in learning how to take beautiful photos, sign up for Skillshare. The first 1000 people who use the link in my description will receive a one month free trial to a Skillshare premium and you get access to all classes. So thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this episode. Now back to some more tropical Malibu cocktails. Malibu Pina Colada is of course also a big favorite for coconut lovers, but I'm made a dedicated episode on this cocktail already. If you would like to watch it, I will leave a special individual link in the description just for you. Next up is Malibu Mule. Chilled copper cup, fill up with ice, add one and a half ounces of coconut rum, half ounce of fresh lime juice, about three ounces of ginger beer and garnish with a fresh lime. This is the wonderful spin on the Moscow Mule. The little bit of sweetness complements the spice from the ginger. And the first drink I ever made with Malibu was actually the surfer and acid. 